Ducks. Today we're going to read Jake and the Neverland Pirates Mama Hook Knows Best by Sharon Osborne. Hello, Poppin' Jays. It is I, Mama Hook. Surely you've heard of me. In my day, I was the bravest, most beloved pirate to ever sail the Never Sea. I've battled sea monsters, I've hunted for priceless treasure, and most daring of all, I raised my son, James Bartholomew Hook, a great and glorious pirate captain, mostly. Over the years, I've gathered some stories and used them as a way to teach my son all about the legendary pirate code. These swashbuckling tales delighted my little James and taught him a lesson or two, I hope. Would you care to read some of them with me? Splendid. Let's begin with the Great Ship Race. Once upon the Never Sea, Captain Hook declared that his ship was the swiftest in all of Neverland. No ship can outrun the Jolly Roger, he said. Yo ho, cried Jake, let Bucky give it a go. Captain Hook was outraged. Bucky, why that barnacle boat is slower than a turtle. There was only one thing to do, race. The first ship to shore would win. Ready, set, go! Bucky shot through the water, setting sail on a steady course. Yay, hey, straight away, shouted Jake. But Captain Hook was so sure he would win, he wasn't in a hurry at all. Smee, my tea. The Jolly Roger stood still in the water as Bucky sailed closer to the shore. Uh, Captain, shouldn't we be setting sail? Stop worrying, Smee. We'll sail after me nap. Now where is Captain Cuddly? When Captain Hook woke up, he was shocked to see that Bucky was nearly to the finish line. What are you waiting for, you scallywag? These pipsqueak pirates are about to win. Full speed ahead. Aye, aye, Captain. They pulled up the anchor to try and catch Bucky, but it was too late. Jake's swift and steady ship won the race. And as for Captain Hook, all he got was a visit from the Tick Tock Croc. Did you catch the lesson there, dearies? Neverland pirates always sail a steady course and pay attention to their pirate duties. Now one thing James loves most in the world, besides his mummy, is treasure. He can never get enough of it. But sometimes, too much of a good thing can be bad. You'll see what I mean in our next story. Once upon the Rainbow River, Captain Hook and Mr. Smee were carrying a payload of plunder. Not to worry, Poppin' Jays. That means they had lots of treasure. As Captain Hook neared the river, he spotted another pirate. This pirate had his hands full of treasure too. Look, Smee, that handsome buccaneer has more booty than he can carry. Smee looked, but he didn't see a thing. That's because it was all pish posh. Captain Hook thought he'd seen another pirate, but what he was looking at was his own reflection in the water. The greedy captain wanted all the treasure for himself. On the count of three, we'll jump out and grab the treasure from that clueless bilge rat. One, two, three! Splash! Captain Hook and Mr. Smee fell right into the Rainbow River. Captain, maybe it's time to get your eyes checked. All of the captain's treasure floated away Save me treasure, Smee. Tick tock, tick tock. Never mind the treasure, Smee. Save me. So the lesson to be learned from that tale, good pirates aren't greedy and they never try to take things that don't belong to them. I'm afraid that's a lesson James never did learn. 
Ah, now this last story is my absolute favorite. My Little Buccaneers. James never did care for it though. I'm not sure why. Once upon Shipwreck Beach, Captain Hook was up to no good. He was stealing other people's treasure. Whenever the scoundrel spotted someone with treasure, he would yell, Oh, save me from the crocodile! And when the dear sweet pirates would rush off to help, Captain Hook's crew would nab their treasure. Oh my! Oh, save me from the crocodile! This went on day after day after day until Captain Hook had stolen all the riches in Neverland. Then one day, tick tock, tick tock, the real croc came to Neverland. But when Captain Hook cried, save me from the crocodile, no one believed him. That scallywag's just after our treasure. Save me from the crocodile. But Captain Hook wasn't trying to steal any treasure that day. He was too busy running from a certain croc. Tick tock. So that story proves, even though James can be a bit naughty at times, I'm so proud of my little pirate. But one thing I'll never understand is how anyone could be afraid of an itty bitty little crocodile. Oh, I think I hear James calling. Aye, save me, mummy. Till next time, Poppin' Jays. Mummy's coming, dearest. Thanks for joining me. Let's read again soon.